Mellonby Station is in the district of Yalgoo. It's a working cattle station and we've established a station stay to give people the opportunity to come out and enjoy station life and country life. It's 250,000 acres, so that's quite small in pastoral station standard. We've set up a number of different options for people. So obviously people who like to be in their swag or their tent or their caravan, um, their RV, whatever they want to bring with them. There's a nice camp area that's supplied with a camp kitchen. Shearing shed that we're sitting in now so they can come in and out of the wind and the rain and we've got a bit of entertainment in the shearing shed as well that you can amuse yourself with. Shearer's quarters, of course, is a nice rustic way to get a really genuine feel for the place. And uh, all of those sites have got campfires close by shower and flushing toilets, so that kind of makes all the luxury that you want. The next sort of level up is basically some homestead rooms. Uh, they're just queen beds with their own en-suites. Level up again from that fairly large room donga. So donga kind of envisages, you know, the old mining camps, which are pretty primitive. Well, ours are fairly luxurious and nice big deck and fireplace out the the front, so you can sit by the fire and look at the stars. And then the next level, which is our latest addition, there are actually some cabins and some cottages. So the two little cabins are just a room with your bedroom, um, tea, coffee, making facilities and an ensuite, and a deck outside to enjoy a barbecue, um, and again, a fire pit. And then the cottages, uh, are miners cottages they're called, and they're actually like a little house. So essentially you've got um, a large deck area, lounge, kitchen, your own bedroom, bathroom and laundry facilities. That's one of the advantages of Mellonby Station actually. It's um, the closest station to um, Perth. So it's four and a half hours drive from Perth on some sealed roads. Two and a half hours roughly from Geraldton or 210 kilometres. You're coming down from the south and you've got to Mount Magnet and the turn off there, um, it's 200 kilometres from there. An hour or so from Perindry. So if you're starting your wildflower tour, for example, you'd perhaps start in Perindry and then do a bit of a loop, which you can go through, um, stay on Malabar and then a number of other places as well. Yeah, it's very accessible. Um, we've only got six and a half kilometres in on dirt road. So people that don't like dirt road don't have to put up with too much of it. And it keeps in pretty good condition as well. We do have a grader, so we try and grade it regularly also. A long weekend, I'd say. You can do quite happily, spend a couple of days here and a day or so traveling. 
We primarily cater for people that are in the tourist season for wildflowers, but realistically the station, we're here all the time and the station is open all of the time um, by arrangement. So if someone wanted to organise, say, a family reunion, we've got plenty of accommodation, a lovely venue for it, um, you know, weddings, birthday parties, that sort of thing. So yeah, the opportunity is to be here um, outside of wildflowers if that's not your thing. There's certainly other times and other reasons to be here at the station.